In this video, we're trying to figure out how the hell we're going to cut a track narrower. So the method Trav and I came up with for narrowing that track was actually fairly simple. Um, if you do a quick search, a lot of the methods you'll find use a skill saw or a circular saw. And I've seen some that do like a table saw. Well, we actually just used a jigsaw. How we started off was we tried flipping the track inside out. It doesn't work. And it might not flip, but it should. Why well, wouldn't it? Actually, you know what's going to be easier? It's just to set it off and get it that way? I think so. So then, as you saw, we realized we could just lay the track on the side of itself and cut along the edge. We'd have to adjust the track around. But no big deal, we're going to have to work our way around anyhow. So, Step one, we marked off or made a line that we had to cut along. Step two, we used a jigsaw to cut along the line. In our case, we removed the guide off of the jigsaw so that we could reach our line and hold the jigsaw flat to the track.
Step three is to use just a box cutter, good sharp box cutter. Um, the jigsaw doesn't cut all the way through, depending on what blade you got. Maybe you got a long enough blade, but the blade we had wasn't long enough to cut all the way through the two inch paddle. So we had to nip the ends off um, finally with the box cutter to finish it off. Looks like a fire cat track. Yeah. Kind of funny. Not the straightest, but by God, it'll work for what we're doing. The other thing you got to consider is this was a $200 track I paid some guy used for. It was $200 shipped to my door. It was a 15 inch wide track. Since it is a skidoo track, the pitch is the same as our Firecat or that Snow Pro chassis. And when it was all said and done, we were able to cut it down to 13 and a half inches. So now it should fit into that Firecat chassis, that Firecat tunnel. So that was another quick sled tip for you. Um, not too terrible often you run into having to cut uh, a track down narrower, but there are some advantages to it. If you run into an application where you need to narrow a track up down and dirty fast, just mark off a line, grab a jigsaw. This is a $30 jigsaw up at your local hardware store. It's not an expensive tool and it wasn't messy. It wasn't smoky, it wasn't smelly, it wasn't nasty. It was actually pretty simple and, and not a complete pain in the ass like we thought it was gonna be. But 
Thanks for watching. Guys, make sure you go down to the bottom here and there's a little red button that says subscribe. Hit that button. Hit the thumbs up. Shoot us a line. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, what else you want to see, what questions you might have. Reach out on Facebook at Longton Motorsports, Instagram at Longton Motorsports, um, eBay, watch eBay if you're in search for parts. Reach out to me if you're looking for parts. I got a bunch of Polaris wedge chassis stuff I'm trying to get rid of. Um, some older, you know, mid 90s ZR stuff I'm trying to get rid of. Um, all parts that I sell that try to put money back into the racing program. So, again, tell your friends, keep watching, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified when we got more videos up. Um, let us know what you want to see. We'll do a video on it as fast as we can. Um, kind of a two-man, small-time show here. So, all this shop space, you'd think we'd get more videos done.